Ilakina, Dotson, Vonley, Mazonia. Dotson pass inside. Vonley trying to gather, goes back out to Trier. Vonley has to get a shot in there from six feet away. Mazonia the runner. That's good. Mazonia, a beautiful rhythm right here in the first half. He's now Nick's family was popping. It's your boy. On that possession, we've seen five passes, five players touch the basketball, leading to a very good shot by Mario Hazoni. And of course, it was initiated by my boy, your boy, the French Prince, Neil Maddock, Frank Nilakina. So let's talk about reasons why Frank is the best point guard for the New York Knicks. Let's take a look back at the Milwaukee game. With about four minutes and 51 seconds left in the first quarter, Frank was reinserted for Ron Baker because Ron Baker suffered an eye injury. Instantly, you see the offense become more fluid, more players touching the ball. Shots going down because they're clean, open looks. On the other side of the floor, you see the Knicks hustle. You see them playing hard, tough-nosed defense because everyone's getting touches and they feel involved. This game, this period of time between 4 minutes and 51 seconds left in the first quarter and when Frank was taken out of the game, you see the Knicks play really efficient offense. And here's the reasons why. Number one, Frank is an organizer, a facilitator. Let's take a look at this clip. Stop it here. Notice how Frank is directing traffic, organizing the team, putting people in positions so that they can be successful. And as a result, Mario has only gets a nice drive to the basket. In this next clip, you'll see Frank, and I'm gonna stop it here. Give Mario Hizonia a few instructions as they come up the floor. Once the ball is advanced, Mario goes to his spot, Frank gets him the ball. Mario gets it back, knowing that he's gonna receive the ball back because Frank is going to run the play that he called out. As a result, Mario gets a drive to the basket, there's a foul called, Noah Von Ley goes to the foul line. In this last clip, you'll see Frank getting the call from his coach, David Fisdale. And as he comes back into the game, the Milwaukee Bucks are on the foul line. And you can see Frank giving hand signals. I think it was to Noah Von Ley. Number two, Frank's not afraid to let others play. He gets killed for it. They always ask the question, why does he pass the ball as soon as he comes over half court? Well, look at this clip. And you'll notice in the clip, Frank comes across half court, passes the ball to Noah Vonley at the top of the key. But there's a reason. Because other people need to get involved. And because of it, Alonzo Trier finds Noah Vonley on the screen to roll. Noah Vonley gets fouled and goes to the free throw line. That's good offense and good recognition by a lead guard to understand that other people need to get involved in the action. Number three, Frank understands how to run a controlled and balanced fast break. Notice this clip here. He gets the outlet pass, advances up the floor, surveys the floor, decides to penetrate because he knows he can draw and kick the trio, who gets the drive to the basket, gets fouled and goes to the line. In his next clip, Frank does the same thing. He surveys the floor, see who's open, understands that he has a trailer in Noah Von Ley. Takes a little move to make it look like he doesn't see Von Ley and then kicks it back to him. If Von Ley would have just pulled up, it would have been a nice, nice play. But it was a great pass by Frank nonetheless. That's how you run a controlled break. He understands how to do it. Number four, Frank is an accurate passer. He can hit the big man in stride. He can hit the shooter in the shooter's pocket. So he's ready to raise up and shoot. Take a look at this play here. 
Not only does Frank get the place set and organized, but he also finds Mario Hisonia in stride, in the pocket, so he can raise up and shoot in rhythm. And you see Mario knocks it down. And again, Frank sets the table, gets the ball to Hardaway, gets it back, comes off Cantor's screen, hits right in the pocket. Cantor missed the floater, but it was a perfect pass. In this last clip, you'll see Frank orchestrate a beautiful offense with great man movement. And as he comes off Mario Hizonia screen, he kicks it back out to a wide open Hizonia. The pass was just a little bit off, but look how wide open Mario Hizonia is. That's the effect of running an offense to the T. That's what Frank Nilakina gives us. Now, I already know what I'm gonna get. Where's number five? Where's the penetration to the basket? Where's the knockdown shooting? I get it, and I agree. These are areas that Frank needs to improve. But it does not mean that he cannot orchestrate, facilitate, and lead a productive and efficient offense. You've seen the clips. You've seen it. I challenge you, go back and watch the game. Watch the game from 4 minutes and 51 seconds until Trey Burke is inserted. And watch the change in the offense. When Trey Burke is inserted for Frank, the offense becomes stagnant. You see a lot of dribble, 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 and then a shot. Or you see a one pass, one shot. I'm not hating on Trey Burke. My point is that Trey Burke is wired to shoot, to score. Frank is wired to facilitate. I want to see Fizdale let these guys play those roles. Let these guys do what they do naturally. Let Frank be that lead guard that facilitates the offense and challenge Trey Burke, Tim Hardaway to follow his lead on the floor. What can it hurt? What can it hurt? See what happens. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad you joined me. I want you to drop it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. And uh, I'm going to see you on the live stream. Peace.